This is Ben Lang Hendricks showing a demo on, on some tricks you can do with borders and tables in notes. I'm going to go to the cell borders first, which default to solid one pixel black borders. And I'm going to change it to a dark red color. Uh, and then using is on the right, I can actually change all the different cell borders to uh, to be bigger or you know change the width. Or I can change individual ones. So I have a lot of control over what I can do with, with cell borders. I can also select the whole table, go back to the cell borders, and I can make them uniform. And I'll make them uniform three pixel dark red border. I'm not going to change the border style on the cells because I don't think that works well. Besides the uh, cell borders, you've got the table border, which is a separate border. It defaults to black, but it defaults to, to none. So I'm going to change it to blue and then change the style to solid so you can see it. And there's a little thin blue border around the entire table. If I make that bigger, then you can see it better. And again, I could change individual sides so that I can make the bottom border a little different. But one of the things that's not obvious is that thickness right there is actually a drop down. And I can go to the inside, and what that does is add white space inside the, the table border and outside the cell borders. And so I have some control there. And there's a, also an outside, which is a white space that is outside the table border. Which keep uh, text or whatever away from the table. Now I can change that that border, change it to you know double border or make it solid. I'm going to leave it solid for right now. And another thing that you can do here is that you can do a drop shadow. A drop shadow actually has a very nice effect um, around the, the bottom like that. It is inside that outside white space for what it's worth. Now if I go to a tab table, you'll see something interesting about the impact of that outside white space add some tab labels. But you'll notice that the, there's a space now between the table border and the tabs. So actually, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the cell borders, just set them to zero because they're distracting right now. Too many different borders in one place. So if I go back here and I, and I change that outside, you can see I can just change the, the top one, and then I can tuck the table right back in with the, the tabs. I'm going to show you one more thing that you can do, which is you can actually make rounded table corners by using an image. And I did one other trick with my image. Um, so I'm going to go in there. I have to pick an image resource, which I created ahead of time. And that's that one over there. If we switch over to GIMP, you can see that image. Um, and I will zoom in so you can see uh, that I, first of all, I created this earlier. And, put a blue border, and I made little rounded uh, corners on that, at least on the bottom. And then I did this where I actually put uh, some text inside the, the table border. And I do that so that I can identify things which are tables which are related to Genii software in our business. Now if you go back and you say OK on that border, you'll see that it, it shows the Genii software, it shows the rounded corners. Um, and that's an, the one thing you have to be aware of is that if you go and change the the width of the table border, it's gotta be it's gotta be big enough to actually show the image. Um, so I made mine about seven that I have to do so I can see it. Um, the one other thing is that I assumed you were going to use a drop shadow for this table. And so if you um, just showing that you can play around with some of the borders here, actually. But if you, that drop shadow, if you see, I use black for the bottom uh, corner, and that way it blends in with the, the drop shadow there. Um, if I weren't going to do a drop shadow, it would look weird, so I would make it white instead. And that's how you do uh, borders, some things you can do with borders in IBM Notes. Thank you.